All right, so here at the Geneva International Motor Show, one of the kind of cars that have been garnering a lot of attention is the premium compact SUVs. Out of those cars, the car that has got the most attention, undeniably, is this, the Range Rover Velar. Well, to start off, the design on the Velar is very minimalist. It's very slick. In the front, it's a very clean design. Those bold shoulder lines accentuate its SUV-like stance. Towards the back, you have these LED tail lights that encompass the back of the car. It looks a little bit Jaguar-like. It almost looks like a concept car from the future, but this is the production version. The overall stance of the car is very low, and there's no denying the fact that this is one good-looking machine. The Velar comes with a choice of three diesel options. You have a 2-litre four-cylinder diesel that's turbocharged, a 2-litre four-cylinder diesel that is twin turbocharged, and the top-of-the-line 3-litre V6 diesel, the same engine that sits on the top-of-the-line Jaguar F-Pace. This car also comes with a choice of petrol engines. You have a 2-litre petrol and a 3-litre V6 supercharged petrol engine, and that is a mainstay in the Jaguar Range Rover family lineup. All of this sounds very good, but what makes the Vela very special is the fact that this is a car that's designed to suit your lifestyle. Everything on the Vela is completely digital, right from the dials to the infotainment unit, even to the little unit down here that controls things like your AC controls and the animations on it are really cool. Choose what kind of driving modes the car has uh, and the car can sense what kind of terrain it is on. You also have uh, these little buttons on the steering wheel that are haptic feedback and are touch sensitive. In essence, tell the car where you're at, just like your smartphone. Like Jaguar, you have the drive select dial that comes up when you turn the car on. This is such a great place to be. This is very luxurious. All in all, just a very exciting proposition. What we can expect in India, of course, is the diesel variants of this car. Now, being in the rear passenger seat of the Velar again is a very comfortable place to be. What's interesting to note is that you have three power sockets. You have two 5-volt sockets and one 12-volt socket. There is quite a lot of knee room and a decent amount of headroom. It isn't as cramped as the Evoque. But really the highlight is that infotainment console that really brings the cabin together. There are subtle touches on the Vela that I really like. For example, the door handles, they just come out like the door handles that you might find on a Tesla. Being a Range Rover, there are going to be a plethora of customization options. This really does look like a home run for Range Rover in this front. It is quite sporty, quite luxurious, but it does take things up a couple of levels. And by the kind of attention it has garnered here at the Geneva International Motor Show, it really does look like it's going to be quite a success. What do you think about the Velar? Well, there's only one thing you can do to let us know what you think, which is to drop us a comment below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay notified because we have a lot of content coming your way from the Geneva International Motor Show. I'm going to catch you in a bit. Take care. Bye-bye.